Yellowstone is an active volcano, not Disneyland with bison. The park is filled with more than 500 spewing geysers, plus numerous boiling hot springs. On July 23rd, one of Yellowstone National Park's thousands of thermal features near a hot spring called Sapphire Pool erupted. Visitors fled as plumes of mud and rock shot into the air, covering the sidewalks with debris. Understandably, the park temporarily closed the area. But crucially, this didn't mean the larger Yellowstone volcano was threatening to erupt. This was simply a normal, albeit dramatic, event where molten rock, magma, forms close to the ground. The volcano remains at a normal level of activity, a calm United States Geological Survey, USGS, wrote on social media after the incident. Monitoring data does not indicate any changes in the Yellowstone area due to today's hydrothermal eruption. These events, called hydrothermal explosions, occur when groundwater suddenly turns to steam. The rapid increase in pressure triggers an explosion. These events are relatively common in Yellowstone, the USGS explained, adding that they occur every few years. An explosion similar to today's also occurred in Biscuit Basin on May 17, 2009. Fortunately, not. Today's eruption does not reflect a change in the volcanic system, which remains at a normal level of activity, the park explained. There are no signs of an impending eruption, let alone any unusual earthquake activity. the park experiences hundreds to thousands of earthquakes each year. Yellowstone's last volcanic eruption was about 70,000 years ago, and it was not a mega eruption on a scale that would deposit ash over much of the U.S. Of the last 50 or so eruptions, almost all have been ordinary lava flows, the USGS explained. If one were to occur tomorrow or next year, the immediate impact outside Yellowstone National Park would be minimal. However, 
Yellowstone is capable of producing super eruptions, the last of which occurred 631,000 years ago. Three such events have occurred in the last two million years. Such a worst-case scenario event would empty a volcano's magma, causing catastrophic ground collapse and forming a massive depression. A super eruption would be locally devastating, but it wouldn't cause global extinction, like a colossal asteroid impact. Fortunately, before this extremely rare eruption, we have at least a few decades, perhaps even centuries, to find out. This isn't a bright summer surprise. Mark is the science editor at Mashable. After working as a ranger for the National Park Service, he began his career as a reporter after seeing the incredible value in educating the public about events on Earth and beyond. He has dived to depths of 2,500 feet in search of six gill sharks, ventured into the halls of leading R&D laboratories, and interviewed some of the world's most interesting scientists. 